All right, everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about a T25 and what it is and why we use them. So we all have seen the star bit screws out there. Um, a lot of people don't really know what they are, why we have them. Some people think they're odd and why do we even use them? Well, I'll tell you, they need to replace all the screws you have because uh, it is a T25. It's a T stands for Torx and the 25 is the size. There's different sizes. There's T20, T25, T30. There's all the way up. So. T25 I'm finding is probably the most common. Um, it's just a standard, you know, screw. And the T25 bit is the star you see. We have seen them before. It's a star, and it's just basically like a normal screw, like a Phillips head, but they're way better. And I'll show you why. Okay, so right here, this is just a standard drywall screw. You can see that it is. My camera's having a hard time focusing. You can see it is a standard Phillips head, just a plus sign, kind of right here. And here is a T25 screw. It might be hard to tell, but it is a star bit inside of here. And this is what the, it looks like here. So you can see there's a lot more area to grab. You have all of these little nubs here to grab when it's in there. So this is easier. Like if you were to get it at an angle, you could still kind of get in there. As where a Phillips head with a standard P2 bit here. You could, no, oh, that's not a P2, that is it's a square. All right, here's the P2 bit. To get these in good, you need to be square on this bad boy and the slightest angle and you're slipping off and you're gonna be rounding that head off. It is very difficult to round a T25 screw when you're using the proper bit here. It is very hard to round these off. Let's go ahead and try them out. Go ahead and try it out with the T25. And I have a long bit here just to make life easier. And you can just see, easy, no slipping, no nothing. Now let's go ahead and switch to the Phillips head. And this is just a standard drywall screw here. See right there, I'm already kind of, and it, maybe it is, I am at a slight angle. And it's already having problems. If you're square on, this shouldn't give you much of an issue. I don't want to go through here. But now, when we go ahead and apply some torque to these, and really sink it in, it is just grinding right there. So let's go ahead and switch to the T25. And sink this in here. Whoops, there. It's hard to do this in film. You can see just no problem sinking this in and pulling it out. You can reuse these screws a hundred times and they don't go bad. I'm like, let's see if I can even get this drywall screw out of here. Oh, I was able to, but you know, these are just, they're just kind of garbage. You can already see it's starting to round itself off in there a little bit. So let's just go ahead again. Yeah, they're just, you know, you can hear right there. Because I'm not applying too much pressure down, it's slipping in and out. And that's the beauty, again, with these T25s. You don't have to put much pressure down. And it's much easier, I found, if you have to toenail a 2x4. With a, it's easier with a T25, the toenail. Because... Like I said before, if you're, you might have to be slightly off, you might not be totally square on that screw. Slightly off, you're still going to be able to grab. Now, like all other screws, T25s can come in all different size and shapes. Uh, this is a T25 deck screw. I've used them before, but this is a T25 deck screw. Um, you know, normal deck screw, but that T25 bit makes life that much easier. And I have a short T25. And this is, I think, a two and a half inch. You know, they come in all shapes and sizes. I love T25 bit screws. I'll always buy them, but you're going to have to always stick to probably the Phillips for drywall screws. Um, maybe one day they'll change them over. Because I know even with drywall, I have had times where you round the heads or you could. So, as you can tell, I am a total fanboy over T25. Uh, that's the only screws I'll ever buy. Phillips head driving through wood, just, you know, the probably causing more problems than good. They just slip, you're gonna round the heads, and then you're gonna have problems. You gotta get the vice grips out to try to twist that thing out of there, or one of those reverse grip screw pullers. Um, that's just why I'll always stick to T25 whenever I'm building anything. It's just 
so much easier. The, the screws and the heads are just built good, so you can just get in there and have a good grab. That was just a quick video on why I use T25 and why you should use T25 bits. Um, most of the, you know, the Walt kits come with them. Um, they're starting to become a little bit more seen around places. I, you know, I'll run into them all the time now, so it's always nice to have a T25 bit because I probably run into them. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked the video and stay tuned for more videos and more random facts about building. Alright, we'll see you next time.